How about five fast FreeCAD features? Okay, this is five fast FreeCAD features. Kind of feels like there should be one more F in there. No matter, these are five features that you may not know about. Uh, little hints, tips, or Easter eggs that can make your life a little easier. I'm using FreeCAD version 0.20, a pre-release built from source. So not all of these may be in the version that you're using, uh, but you can look forward to them showing up at some point. Let's jump into it with number one. Number one, reorienting the sketch. Have you ever put a bunch of work into drawing a sketch and then realized that you drew it on the wrong plane? I've drawn this shape on the XY plane, but I really want it on the XZ plane. So an easy fix is to select the sketch and go under the sketch menu to reorient. It'll ask to detach it from the current support, and if you say yes, you'll be given the dialog to choose a different plane. In this case, I'll choose the XZ plane, and it indicates the front face. I say OK, and the, the sketch is remapped onto the XZ plane. Number two, the constraint block. In this sketch, I have a line which is unconstrained, so it's still showing four degrees of freedom. Now I could apply endpoint constraints or length constraints and gradually reduce that down to a fully constrained sketch, but there's an easier way to do it. Just select the entire line and apply the block constraint. The block locks everything which isn't locked by another constraint. A nice thing about this is it works with the other constraints as well. So even though it's fully constrained, I can select the element and apply a length constraint. It'll first get added as a reference, but by double-clicking it and giving it a value, it's converted into a driving constraint. The rest of the elements are still in place from the lock, but now I can control the length with the driving constraint. Number three, the path tool position. You probably know that you can select an operation in the Path Workbench and then use the Inspect tool. And by scrubbing down the lines, you'll get a highlight of the, um, which shows you which line in the back plot corresponds to the line of G-code uh, in the editor window. But here's something you may not know. You can go down under the Tools group and open up the Tool Controller and you'll see that the each tool, uh, the tool representation is toggled off visibility by default. If you turn that tool representation on and then use the inspect tool for the operation, when you select a line of code, the tool will be positioned at the starting point of that line. This is particularly useful if you want to verify that the debird tool is clipping exactly the right amount of the stock. Number four, exporting as a PDF. The TechDraw Workbench is fantastic for producing uh, really high quality output, but sometimes you just need a fast picture that you can share with somebody. You could grab a screenshot or use the Save Picture tool, but there's a third option. It's important that you have whatever you want to show in the center of the 3D window. Under the File menu you have Export PDF. This is no substitute for TechDraw, but it will include everything that's visible on the screen, including part design dimensions and uh, measurements from the measurement tool, although you may have to change the color for them to be visible against the white background. And number five, recording the selection. FreeCAD has a number of tools to assist you with managing selections. If you use the drop down on this button, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of other modes in, in here, including the record selection. If you turn that on and then go about selecting some things, you'll see that the, these two buttons, these navigation buttons, now become active. I can now use the back button and it will return to whatever the selection was that I had before. This includes individual faces selected from the 3D view. So if I go back and then forward again, I can recreate the selection of those sub-elements. If you turn off the record selection, those pre-selected items still remain in the list and can be used, but no new ones will be added to it. This is particularly useful if you're managing a document that has a lot of nested elements and it may be hard to find something. 
So there you go, there's five features in about five minutes. If you found this interesting, please like and subscribe. And if you find FreeCAD useful, please consider supporting it through LiberaPay or through Patreon. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.